The telephone took 75 years to get to 100 million users and ChatGPT did it in two months. So we can say that the AI revolution is definitely here. But what exactly can you do as a programmer to get a head start? Today I will be sharing a one simple tip that will give you an edge over the competition. And believe it or not, I have been doing that for the past 10 years. And by the end of this video, I will show you proof as well that I have been doing that for the last 10 years. So stay tuned and let's get started. This video is sponsored by Brilliant.org. They offer engaging and interactive online courses and practice issues in math, science and engineering. The self-paced classes cover a variety of subjects from scientific thinking to physics every day. Study the rules as you play and explore the laws of physics and engineering. There will be many surprises along the path, but in the end, you will have the knowledge and insights to view the world in a different light. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash murtaza or click on the link in the description below. The first 200 listeners will also get 20% off their annual membership. Do you want to implement your computer vision ideas to solve real world problems? or upgrade your resume by enhancing your computer vision skills, then the computervision.zone is the perfect platform for you. CVZone is a one-stop computer vision platform with over 100,000 users with courses sold in over 80 different countries. If you want to commercialize your computer vision ideas, then the computer vision web development course is the perfect course for you. Here you will learn the basics of web development and computer vision as well as how to integrate them to solve real world problems like customer engagement, car counter, face attendance, shirt size measurement and a lot more. Advanced Stone Programming is another great course that focuses on the practical implementation. Here you will learn the basics of drone programming as well as advanced concepts like face following, body following, gesture control and a lot more. If developing mobile apps is your thing, then check out our computer vision mobile apps course. Here you will learn the basics and create several apps including object detection, augmented reality, face detection, document scanner and a lot more. The best part is that you will create a single app that will work both on iOS and Android. If you are passionate about integrating hardware with software, then check out our Computer Vision Arduino course. Here you will learn the basics along with amazing projects such as conveyor belt assembly, face tracking, lamp gesture control, face door lock and a lot more. The Computer Vision Game Development is another great course where fun meets programming. Here you will learn to create games such as Fruit Ninja, Balloon Pop, Squid Game, Cookie Cutter, all using the latest Computer Vision techniques. Not only that, you will learn to compile your awesome game to an .exe file to make it accessible to all. You can also learn to implement computer vision on embedded devices with our computer vision with Jetson Nano course. Here you will learn the basics of Jetson Nano and computer vision along with creating exciting projects like lane following robot, eye tracking, object following and a lot more. All these courses have a clear path from basics to advanced with maximum knowledge in a short amount of time. So check out the links in the description to get started with your computer vision journey today. So we know that the AI is basically here and while we can see a lot of its effects, we still have to see its true potential because right now it's at a very early stage and it is still growing and it is showing what exactly can it do. So what can you do as a programmer to get ahead of the game, to get started, to get prepared for this AI revolution? Now, there is one thing that I believe will have a true impact, maybe not right now, maybe not in a month or two, but definitely in the long run. And let me tell you something, I have been doing this for the past 10 years. That's right. So this one thing has led to a lot of opportunities and a lot of good ideas as well. So what is that one thing that will help you in this AI revolution? And that is marketing yourself. Now, how can you market yourself? The best way to do it is by creating your portfolio website. So create your own website that will showcase you as the product. So what you need to do is, even if you have not achieved a lot of different things, you need a good start. What you need to do is you need to get your projects. You need to get all of the things you have done so far. It doesn't matter if you are at a university level or if you are working at a job, uh, if you have 10 years of experience or one year of experience, it doesn't matter. You have to get started with your own website. 
Now, what this will do is it will give you an edge right away. First of all, you need to get all the data and put it on your website. Now, believe it or not, I did this in back in 2011 or 12. So I created my own website and at that time I did not have enough. I could not afford uh, creating my own website, having my own domain. So what I did was I created a free website on uh, some platform and it showed their logo and uh, you can sign up on their website and blah 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 but i didn't care about that all i wanted was to have my name on a platform and everyone can access and i can get motivated to do more projects and more things to actually put on the website so this is a, a kind of a neat trick which will self-motivate you to do more projects so how did i do this first of all you need to create a list of all the projects that you have done and you need to put that on your website now you must have an about page as well and you should have a main page now all of this information nowadays uh, it can be put on a single page website so you can have your website um, your your portfolio your biography uh, on the top and then at the bottom uh, who you are where you came from what degree did you get uh, what are your skill levels and what projects did you do so all of this should be plotted one by one and should be inserted in your website and it should be archived now what this will do is first of all it will have all your projects in one place so you will know what exactly is your progress over the years secondly it will give access to the world to see you so you are not just a random person you are an entity that has a home on the internet so if i google about you something should pop up on the google uh, search bar so you should have some authority you should have some uh, relevance on the internet so once you have that once you are there to be searched you need to update your linkedin you need to update your facebook all of these should tell you the same story about you and then what this will do is this will also provide you with the second bonus which is your email address now the email address needs to be very professional so if you are sending emails for example my name is murtaza hassan so if i write murtaza hassan at gmail.com that is not very professional but what if i use my address as contact at murtazahassan.com that is a totally different impact that it gives to the person who is sending you an email it gives a professional look it tells that you have put enough effort to actually keep yourself maintained and you are up to date in terms of technology and in terms of the trends so this is very important that you get all of this sorted out now as i told you that i have been doing this for the past 10 years myself and i will show you what i did with my free website and i will also show you what i have as my current website right now now before we go there let me tell you something else because of all of this i have been able to put myself out there and get some acknowledgement get my name out and get myself recognized now doing this will also help you in another way which is basically learning how to build a website so later on for example you get an idea an ai website you want to create for yourself or any other website any other service any other SaaS project that you want to give as a service then you will be able to build up the website fairly quickly and even if you don't have to build it yourself you will have the knowledge to guide or to uh, lead a team that will create that website for you and that will uh, uh, do the project for you so because you are already there you have the basic knowledge it will be far more easier for you to get started rather than starting from the very beginning so this is very important that you have your own website and you keep updating the website and that will keep motivating you as well so now as promised we are going to go and have a look at the website i created almost 10 years back and the website i have as my own nowadays so let's go ahead and look at those so here we are at my old website as you can see here uh, this has uh, this logo that uh, you can create and it was using wix.com so they have their own logo here and they're saying you can get started and this was almost 10 years back 
and uh, at that time I was at my university and I was studying and whatever projects I did I added it here as well so this is the home page as you can see uh, we have different pages so I did a bit of photography back then as well so these are some of the projects I've listed uh, I'm an engineering student convincing new ideas blah 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 that's just uh, you can see boilerplate and so on and there's my image and this is something that I am very uh, used to of saying it's, it is something that I actually uh, said hard to ease is the way to success so you have to put in the effort first and then everything's uh, everything becomes easy so that's what I'm trying to say then let's go ahead and check the about me so here uh, who I am I added some images um, uh, my name is Murtaza Hassan and uh, then I have some images, uh, getting some gold medals, playing some um, eight ball, doing some karate. There's the gym. And then we have some basketball as well. So these are just some random activities, some extracurricular activities that I was displaying that uh, I'm not just into building stuff, not just into studies and creating projects. I do extra stuff as well. So a lot of times companies, they actually want something uh, similar that an, a person should not just be a nerd. <laughs> so that's what they're trying to find out. Anyways, so then you have projects and all of these projects uh, that I did back then. Um, so these are the most prominent one. I did a lot of projects, but these are the ones that stood out. So for example, this is the CNC machine. Uh, if you click on it, it takes you to those um, videos. Uh, I think these are private videos you won't be able to view it but uh, I think I have it on my YouTube yeah so the, the, this was a CNC machine that I built uh, in my home and uh, I think this is the final result yeah uh, let me let me show you from here it's using these different softwares and uh, this was a great project actually it is it was one of the best ones uh, that I did because it, it came out very neat like uh, let, me, let me show you this Batman I'm not sure why it's staying so long to load which is weird so these were the designs that were built with the CNC machine it wasn't the best one but it was quite good and I had this making of the video this was uh, the testing uh, it was with a pen so it was actually showing what was it able to do as you can see it's creating a horse and it looks very mesmerizing to actually see all of that and then uh, there was this making video so again I, I didn't do it for YouTube or any other platform I just wanted to film the process something to showcase that I did it so this was the design I created then I started the manufacturing then just some images random images now this sort of thing tells the other person that they have put some effort they have done something um, so that actually gives you an edge right away so then we have this robot arm uh, this robot hand then we had this robot arm again both of these I built from scratch uh, the metal there were metal sheets I cut them uh, created these brackets and put them all together this was actually made from a um, mop a wooden mop so I took the mop cut it into uh, pieces and then I painted it and it looks good um, and this was a fun project actually the coin detector uh, this was using huff transform and back then uh, our project was to create our own huff transform function uh, we could not use the OpenCV built-in function so we had to write our own uh, yeah it was in C++ oh there is there is a doc I believe it's there yeah there you go the code is still there that's that's pretty amazing so oh my god look look at the nesting for loop inside of four inside of four so yeah you had to do it because you were working at a pixel level and uh, you had to write the function from the start anyway so th these were some of the projects that I did back then added some details whatever you can just add your stuff 
and later on when you get some more time you can actually enhance it make it a little more appealing uh, make it a little more organized as you go along so you don't have to do everything right from the beginning and my suggestion is that don't uh, try to start with perfection put everything together and try to rearrange it don't try to think okay this is what it will look like this is what should i do blah 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 just put everything together try to uh, find a solution after you have everything after you have all the data don't try to uh, do everything right in the beginning uh, this was a uh, a good one persistence of vision uh, it actually when you have fan uh, it actually displays the words when it rotates really fast so that was a good one and yeah so these were some of the projects that i did and i added all of them then you had contact where you can send an email or uh, you have your own email address where people can actually contact you so back then i did not have my own website i did not have my own domain so that is why i had this contact form and then uh, my email address now what i have right now is murtazahassan.com so the best thing you can do is Get your name so if you have a unique name then you are at an advantage and then you will be able to get your website very easily so even if you don't get it as com you can get net you can get ai ai is a little bit expensive but if you are able to afford it why not so uh, then this is a one page website so basically this is the home page this is the about everything is still here so this is my biography a little bit of who i am and uh, this is my uh, telling about my youtube channel putting uh, just a random video uh, showing some projects and these are some of the achievements uh, largest computer vision channel 250k subscribers uh, over 150 free tutorials 15 million views blah 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 and then uh, this is the setup that i usually use by the way it has changed and i will be soon uh, putting out a video on what exactly is my setup and what do i use and then uh, number one courses on youtube and facebook not facebook google and uh, then some galleries some sh uh, images showing that i have done something it's not just words you can see me working and uh, then our platform founder of cv zone uh, what are the achievements of cv zone and uh, packages that i have developed and then the social media links and then you can contact at contact at murtasan.com so this is the basic idea of creating your own website it does not have to be complicated it just needs to be simple and it needs to be straightforward the the main thing you are trying to achieve with this is to market yourself so you are telling the world who you are and what you have done so far even if it's not a lot just keep putting it and um, there is a concept of compound interest which actually is very useful here and believe it or not uh, before you know it it will pile up and it will become a lot of different things that you have done all you have to do is put in a drop every single day every other month every other week whenever you can just keep adding stuff to your website and sooner or later it will become something that is an achievement something that the world will see as a plus point and you will have an edge whether it's AI, whether it's computer vision, whatever field you are in as a programmer, you need to have all of these things sorted in one place. And of course, you will have your GitHub page as well, where you will show your coding skills and what exactly have you done. So this was my uh, opinion on the AI revolution and how you can stay ahead of the curve. This is something that you must do if you want to get started with programming or AI and you want the world to recognize you, you want to be ahead of the game, you want an edge when your CV, when your resume goes into an office or somebody sees it. So this is it for today. I hope you have learned something new. If you'd like to see more of these videos, comment below if you loved it, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next one.